So, transformation. Let's have a look in Romans. We see that the real transformation is internal. And that can affect the external. Just have a look at the fruit of the Spirit. Each one of those is an internal thing that outworks itself in physical manifestations. Romans 2, 28 and 29. God wants an internal change, not an external one. The external follows the internal. There are two sets of processes. One is in Romans 5. If we persevere through suffering, it builds our character. And if our character is built in the perseverance, we can see hope. And hope, as we know, does not disappoint. In 2 Peter 1, we see there is a different process. But this is where we need to add stuff to what we're about. As you can see from the list, Jesus wants to outwork himself in us. In both Romans and Galatians, we can see that we need to put on Christ, much like a sponge in water. The sponge can be dry, but the more that it is put in water, it becomes soft and malleable. In the same way, we need to keep diving into the stuff of Jesus, and that can change us, and change us for the better. Much like in baptism, as we are fully immersed, we need to fully immerse ourselves in Jesus, and that will change us. Let us go back to James, James 2. If faith without works is dead, then maybe love without demonstration is also dead. What God wants, what Jesus wants, is for us to be more like him in kindness, goodness, and all those other good things. And how we can do that? See you Sunday. You're coming.